Tonight we learned a high school football coach is in jail. The Whitfield County Sheriff's Office says it's because he didn't report a student had been sexually assaulted. James Torres joins us now live from North Whitfield High School with the latest. James, what have you learned? Kim, that coach is 34-year-old Lamar Cofield. A spokesperson with the Whitfield County School System tells us that this is the school where he coached football and resigned from those duties sometime last week. And that this is all after uh, Whitfield County Sheriff's Office and the GBI says that he failed to report a, after a student said that she had been raped. This is Lamar Cofield. Tonight, we learned players on his football team here at Northwest High School called him red. According to the Whitfield County Sheriff's Office, Cofield went to a house party in this area of the county in July and saw underage students drinking. And then when a girl told him she had been sexually assaulted at the party, he did not report it to the school or the authorities, something he is required to do as an employee of the school system. Football players on the team said they noticed Cofield hadn't been around and had no idea why. It was a Friday. We played against our Heritage, and we lost. But yeah, he said that sorry we couldn't be there, and we he we we didn't know why honestly. And the sheriff's office says at the end of September, the girl's family reported that rape. It's still unclear tonight why they waited until then to do so. Cofield was arrested on Friday and charged with uh, failure to report suspected child abuse. That's the latest we have here live in Whitfield County. I'm James Torres, News Channel 9. All right, James, thank you very much. Now, you remember roughly two years ago, three members of the Ottawa High School basketball team coaching staff lost their jobs. They were accused of not reporting the rape of one of the players during a holiday tournament in Gatlinburg. Two had their charges dropped. The third, the former athletic director, was ordered to 10 hours of community service and had to take a class on mandatory reporting. The three men are now suing the school system, the Hamilton County DA, and State Department of Children's Services for more than $2 million. Fire crews in California.